Hello, my name is Michelle Sweeney and I am going to be leading a prenatal yoga practice today. I'll be talking you through it as we watch this video that I recorded earlier today. And one thing about practicing yoga at home is that there's always work to be done. We've got those dirty dish rags. There's the dinner that you need to cook and there's always something pulling at you while you're trying to focus on your yoga and I encourage you just to leave these things behind. It's okay. You can cook later. You can wash the dishes later. You can clean up later. But take the time to just let those things be. Come to your mat and give time to yourself. Take care of yourself. This is your time. And now it's time to just sit down in a nice, easy seated position. Close your eyes and notice your breathing. Can you feel the air going in and out through your nose? Can you breathe so deep that your stomach expands, that your lungs are so full that it actually moves your diaphragm down? Can you hear the sound of your breath as it tickles the back of your throat? Hi. Okay, we're ready to get started. Let's do yoga. <laughs> Bring your hands high above your head. Bring your fingertips together and then reach your right arm to your left wrist and stretch to the side. As you breathe in, reach up again, grab the opposite wrist and stretch to the other side. We're gonna do this three times. So inhale as you reach up and look up. Exhale as you grab your wrist and stretch your ribs and the side of your body as you lean to the side. And do this at the speed of your own breath. Inhaling as you go up, exhaling as you bend over. Bring your hands back down. And now we will start our flow. Come onto your hands and knees. Put your weight from your shoulders over your hands. And put your hips over your knees. And we'll start with cat and cow. Cat and cow are two postures that get your spine nice and moving. So you're going to look up as your belly goes down towards the ground and then look down and round your spine and curve your back like an angry cat. So this is cat with your back arched and cow with your belly down. Now bring your right leg behind you and bring it and prepare to step forward. Put your right foot by your right hand and then lift your left knee off the ground. This is dragon pose. Now just rock your body forward and back ever so slightly, adding some fluidity and motion to the hip joint. And we'll take three breaths in dragon pose. Good, good. Bring your knee back down to the ground and come back to hands and knees. We'll do three more cat and cows to the speed of your breath. Exhale as you round your spine and look down to your belly. Inhale as you look up. Exhale as you round your spine. Inhale to cow, exhale to cat. 
Inhale, cow. And now bring your left leg up to the sky and prepare to step your left foot forward to the side of your left hand. We'll do dragon on the opposite side. Bring your right knee up off the ground and balance on your right toes. And now just bringing a little bit of flexibility into the joints here. Start rocking back and forth. Feel that stretch. Mm. Should feel really good. Bring your knee back down to the ground and come back to hands and knees. Now lift your knees off the ground and your hips high to the sky for downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. And now we're going to go back and forth between plank position and downward dog. Inhaling for plank, exhaling for downward dog. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, hips high to the sky, downward dog. Now bring your right leg up to the sky for three-legged dog. And then bend your knee and open your hip up, stacking your hips on top of each other, and letting the weight of your leg open up the hips. Love this stretch. Now bring your right leg back down to the ground to downward facing dog. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. That left leg up high to the sky. And then bend your knee allow the weight of your foot and your leg to open your hips out and over your body. Bring your leg back down. Here we are again in downward facing dog. Right leg comes up and step it through between your hands and then stand up. You're in kind of a lunge position. This is called warrior one. Reach your hands way up to the sky and look up. Feeling length through your arms. And then bend in your front knee. Now open your right arm to the front and your left arm to the back. This is warrior two. Look over your right fingertips and breathe. Straighten the right knee. Reach your left arm back and your right arm up to the sky. Look up. Now keeping your legs in the same position, tip your body down right hand down to your leg or ankle, your left arm up to the sky. This is triangle pose. Come back down to the ground, find your hands and knees. And let's do cat and cow. For three breaths, breathe in, breathe out. Back to downward dog and bring your left leg up to the sky. Step it forward and raise your hands up for warrior one, bending your left knee, looking up to the sky. And now open to warrior two, bringing your left hand to the front and your right arm to the back. Look over your left fingertips and keep your left knee bent. Straighten your left leg and reach up as high as you can for Sky Archer. And then take your left arm all the way down to your leg for Triangle Pose. Look up to your right fingertips and bring your hands back down to the ground. Come to your hands and knees. And we will do Cat and Cow. Look up for cow, look down for cat. Look up for cow and down for cat. Remember to move with your breath. One breath for each movement. Isn't this fun? <laughs> what are we gonna do next? Okay, bring your right leg up 
to your right hand. And this is dragon pose again. This time we're going to tip the right knee open. Come back down to your left knee. And back to hands and knees. Now your left knee will go back and step it forward. And open your left knee to the side, this time using dragon pose as a side hip opener. Come back to your hands and knees. And up to downward dog. You'll notice we're going a little bit faster now. We've started to turn all these movements into a flow. So we're going to do downward dog and plank three times. Reach your right foot up to the sky. Open up your foot in this three-legged dog. And now step your right foot forward. Come up to warrior one. Reach up, look up, and arms out to the front and the back. And then reach up for sky archer and down for triangle pose. Now come back down to your hands and knees. Cat and cow, flow one breath for each movement. Good, left leg comes up and steps forward. Now we'll do dragon, opening out to the side. And come back to hands and knees, downward dog. Left leg rises and tip over, feeling that nice hip opener, and step your left foot forward for warrior one. Reach up, and now arms out for warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach up for sky archer, and then reach down for triangle pose. Arms surround your feet, and you step back to hands and knees. Let's do cat and cow. Three times. Moving with your breath. Inhale, exhale. And now come back to where we started. In an easy seated posture. Put your hands on your knees. And breathe together. Bring your hands up to the sky. Arms up as you inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Arms up, inhale, hands to heart center, exhale. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. Namaste.